Cheers. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel, my name is Ingeborg. And this is a Stitch Too Far and I talk about stitching. Um, it's my first official update since the start of the new year. So happy new year to all of you. I hope you started the year well. Um, might have been interesting and challenging. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll get back to that, but welcome. Anyway, I'm going to share a bit about what I've been stitching on, some of the things that I received in the mail, and I need to do the giveaway and talk about some books, and I think that's about it. It's January something, 18, I think, I don't know, something like that, Sunday. And I thought I'd better film now because next weekend I definitely won't have time. And then I think January is over already. So here I am. I have not been stitching a lot because I did have a bit of a problem with my stitchy bug disappearing in December. So what I decided to do today was, uh, since I did a, a year in review kind of thing, I'm uh, just going to show you what I've been stitching since January because basically you've seen the progress on all my whips in that previous video. Uh, so I have been trying to work on things that have a bit of a summary vibe to them or colors because I need that right now because you may not know this but I do have a bit of a seasonal uh, depression winter depression so yeah i found it helps if i stitch with happy colors so one of the things i picked up this week was anatolia by ink circles and i've just been working on that for the past few days and here's where i'm at currently so basically i added this little band since the last update really love this project really enjoy stitching on it uh, I enjoy that it's all separate motifs, so that gives you like tiny little finishes every time you work on it. That really helps me out a lot. Uh, let's see what's in this bag. Oh, yeah. Of course, I have been working on my boyfriend. Um, the tortoise. Uh, this is Aboriginal Art by Ross Originals. Uh, this one I finished already two years ago, I think, by now, maybe three. And I'm adding this one to the fabric, finally. And I got quite a lot of progress on that. Um, So here we are, as you can see, um, basically worked on the lower half of the tortoise and started filling in a bit uh, to see what the colors would be like. But I figured the filling in bit is quite a good thing to do when I get distracted easily. So I think I'm going to take this with me to crew, to the retreat and work on the filling in bits more there. Uh, because I was working on this while listening to an audiobook and had to rewind a lot of times just because I noticed that I was half the time counting and not really listening to what the book was saying. So yeah, that was, <laughs> that was not so helpful. And what else did I, oh yeah, this is my first little finish of the year. I can find it. Uh, so uh, I pulled this out just uh, last year to work on for the Christmas in July sale that Diana it is Kismet organized to pre-celebrate her birthday and uh, since I hadn't worked on any ornaments for myself last year I decided to pick this out and work on it for myself 
and I got one of the four parts done and this is on 40 count uh, sand picture this plus and it's tiny as you can see but yeah I finished it love it uh, as usual I will put any information about patterns and materials that I used in the the thingy the description of the video so yeah that was my first little finish of the year and then the last thing i worked on is the beach takapuna beach Which is, oh, hang on, don't fall. Help! This is um, the original painting that the pattern is made, by, uh, made on uh, after character creations. I think this is out of print, but it's a beach in New Zealand. And hopefully I get to make it to there. Um, I might insert a picture because I already scrolled back up scroll bars. But somewhere down here is the bottom right corner. So I made it to the corner. So I decided last time I worked on it that I wanted to try and get to that corner at least. And then work my way back uh, diagonally again. So I've already scrolled back to set myself up for that before that start going back up here again I uh, don't know when but someday this year probably <laughs> but yeah really happy that I reached the corner and yeah uh, I really I, I unscrolled it for the pictures of my uh, year review video and I was pleasantly surprised to see the whole thing um, I think about I'm about halfway now so yeah really feel the need to work on that a little bit more this year oh So that's all the things I worked on that I can show you because I did work on some things that I can't show you, uh, mainly the round robin things. Uh, so yeah, that's just, we're getting near the end so I think I, around May I, I will be able to share all the stitching I did on those and I will get my piece back. Um, yeah. I think that's uh, what I could share. Uh, so let's talk giveaway. Uh, I've been trying to give away these silks for a while now, <laughs> as well as the bunny chart, which co which contains. Oh, hang on. Two more charts. These two, as well. And I said I would do the drawing in this video or the next update video, which is this one. And I had uh, quite a few people wanting either the bunny and or the silks. And the uh, bunny, uh, I drew the names with a random uh, number, number generator and uh, bunny pattern. Uh, the winner is... Drexen Daniela, so I'm guessing Daniela Drexen, I will put your name here. Please get in touch with me, you can email me. I will put the email address here as well, uh, or, or leave a comment on this video, how I can reach you and get your uh, address information. And then, uh, the silks. These go to Michelle Miller, again I will your name up here uh, leave me uh, email uh, email me or leave me a comment where how i can reach you and then we will sort those out uh, congratulations to you both i hope you enjoy them 
uh, yeah, that's that. Then I had some things arrive in the mail. Uh, these two patterns were patterns that I ordered when I was in, and I have to say, House Tirol, uh, which is in Williamsburg, Virginia. Um, she had a beautiful uh, display of all kinds of finished pieces, including a lot of Victoria Sampler pieces. And this has been on my list for a while, so I asked her to order this pattern for me. This is the winter box. You may know that I'm working on the autumn box at the moment. And I also have the spring, spring one in my collection. But yeah, I, I love this one too. So, and then along came uh, a reproduction uh, sampler, which she had the originals as a trunk show in her shop. Definitely go check that out, House to Rule. I will link them below. Gorgeous shop and gorgeous display of original samplers. And I love this sampler. This is uh, by Threads of Gold Sampler Reproductions and this is the 1724MH sampler. And I love it because it has all the different stitchings. And you can stitch this as one or maybe even do little things for cards or pin cushions from those as well. So yeah, I look forward to starting that someday. And then I received two sets of silks because I'm in the... I think it's the Silk of the Month Club by Silks for You. They also have a Color of the Month Club. But this, I think the Silk of the Month Club is the one where you get colors from their regular uh, line. So uh, you just get one skein of 15 meters and you get four skeins in each shipment. Definitely go check it out if there's still room because they're always uh, then hardly ever disappointing to me at least. Uh, so let's try this. I have from the December uh, uh, oh uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> If you haven't had yet had the December one, look away. And next I'm going to also show the, the January set. If you haven't received them yet and you don't want to skip about five, five minutes ahead because you will be spoiled. Uh, so this is number, this is from the December number 106, which is a beautifully variegated, uh, it's showing up rather. It's showing up very pink on my screen, but it's actually more of a maroon. Maroon and yellow and soft pinks. And then we have PR104, which is beautiful. I love this. Uh, again, it's showing up a bit more vivid than the true colors are. But it's um, uh, like a soft greens and beige and, and lilac colors yeah more like that then we have PR 015 which is a slightly variegated again so very pink here but more uh, soft toned maroons and pinks and then we have 141 which is just a solid sort of fuchsia which is showing up very red here, but it's 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 more of a pink, pinky red. Uh, colors and videos always an issue. Yeah, love these colors. And then we have the next set, which is January, which is a blue, again a blue set, beautiful blues. Mika, look away now. <laughs> Oh gosh, uh, so this is PR75, uh, showing up pretty, pretty true to, which is basically a really beautiful blue, royal blue, not really variegated, yeah, love that. And then we have a beautifully variegated one that I think Miku will love, 103, yeah, showing up pretty accurately, it's got hints of... Uh, lavender and turquoise and light green and bright turquoise blue. And then we have 
PR004, which is basically a lavender purple. Not really variegated, but yeah, pretty close to true colors here. And we have the last one, which is PR101. Again, beautifully variegated, really great spring colors, uh, light, um, again, turquoises and uh, sea glass, greens, and a bit of beige, and really nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting quite the collection going and I'm going to start thinking about how to use combinations of these for maybe a long dog. But for the moment I'm not ready to start anything big because I really, really, really want to finish some of my bigger projects. But yeah, uh, and then I have big bags full of beautiful things that my friend Anna gave me. Lots and lots of Hardanger uh, uh, designs, as well as a whole bag of materials, uh, which she she received from a friend to spread around. And then I have another bag full of things that I need to check some people for if they might like these, because these are these are all paper craft books, and I'm not big in, into paper craft, but I will do. I will check around with the people that I know that do paper craft if they might be interested and if they're not then I will definitely give these away to someone. So thank you Anna and Anna's friend for those. Um, and then that please just... Oh yeah, I have been still getting uh, Christmas cards because uh, this year the Christmas cards have been delayed a lot because I've been getting uh, I think even this week I got, uh, got a card I'm really 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 bad at getting back to everyone uh, personally to thank you so again I just want to say thank you if you send me a card because I just haven't been in the mindset to respond to everyone and I do want to but yeah give me <laughs> give me some time because um, Update, life update. Uh, I have been struggling, uh, as I mentioned in my last regular update. Um, uh, turns out I am very likely going through menopause, <laughs> which explains a lot of my struggles uh, combined with my winter depression. That's not really uh, a great combination uh, mentally. So, yeah. But yeah, I've had ups and downs and now that I finally figured out what's going on, I can ask, ask my doctor if there's anything that they can help me with. So um, that's on my list of to do, things to do. And I also, also had some, uh, not only my body is falling apart, but my house is <laughs> basically um, having some malfunctions in the sense that um, some of my kitchen appliances are finally going dead. And before my fridge gives out, I definitely need to get myself a new kitchen as well as I had some PC issues so basically everything went to shit uh, uh, on short notice <laughs> so yeah this year is not going to be a big spend spend a lot on st stitchy stuff year I think because I need to spend a lot on kitchen kitschy stuff kitcheny stuff but yeah um so I've been washing things by hand, which has been okay, but that gives me a back ache as well, and that's not <laughs> that's not helping. So yeah, struggle bus is still going, but I have, and at least I know where I'm going and what I can do to fix it. So yeah, cheers to that, by the way. Um, which brings me to books as the last subject I think to discuss. Um, I have been uh, reading my audiobooks or listening to my audiobooks and there were some good sales that I took advantage of. Uh, so my library has been increasing but mainly, uh, let's see what I've been reading since uh, you last spoke to me. Um, 
thank you uh, also to uh, Arlene and someone else mentioned the link that there's an audiobook of the, the other Mary Bowser, uh, Elizabeth von Lue story. Well, definitely going on my list to check out. Um, also, thank you to everyone who came up with suggestions about my storage uh, issue and the sizes of the... Now I forgot the English name again. But uh, the folder thingies where you uh, the the clear <laughs> what are they called the see through things where, where I wanted to put, store my uh, patterns in and uh, I've I've been getting uh, quite a few uh, useful tips that I will definitely look into also for the thread the, for the dimensions kits everybody thank you so much you came through like a champ. And you gave me some ideas to pursue and to try uh, on those uh, issues. But yeah, back to books. Um, let's see. Uh, I finished The Pillars of the Earth, but I think I mentioned that last time. Or was I still reading it then? Uh, if you're into historical fiction, definitely have a look at that. Uh, it, uh, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a series, so I just I had the, the book one of the series. I've seen that part as a televised series as well, long, long, long ago. So a lot of that was coming back to me as I was reading it. But yeah, it's fun story. It's an interesting story. It keeps you going. It's an intrigue. It's got uh, trigger warning. Uh, it's got some violence and uh, in various ways. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's something you might want to consider. But yeah, really enjoyed the, the book. I listened to uh, the uh, Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. Um, oh. This is Audible. This one. Which was interesting. It's a story about his youth, uh, what he's been through growing up in South Africa as a child of a black woman and a white father and all kinds of things that happened to him and his family and that was again trigger warning it's um uh, it's quite an interesting life he's had so far considering i thought he was younger than he actually is because but yeah he's more towards my age i'm i'm feeling but yeah Definitely recommend uh, a read of that. That was really good. Um, I uh, read um, Madeleine Albright's book, Fascism, A Warning. Yeah, I can only say definitely read this because it is in these times even more... Uh, important to read especially uh, with elections that are coming or going and uh, it's not um, uh, when i was reading it i thought am i a pessimist or am, am i an optimist well i'm definitely an optimist but it's good to be a warned optimist uh, and she gives some uh, the book ends with a few very good questions about uh, that you can ask uh, about your own government or your uh, society to see what's actually going on and if it's still democratic or not and yeah that was really 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 interesting i've been thinking about actually uh, doing something about posting the questions she posted but uh, i don't know copyright issues etc i just please just read the book <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't want to read the whole book, skip to the last chapter and listen to that. Because if anything, that's very important. And then what else? Oh yeah. This one I've, I've, I've got a mixed feeling about. Uh, this is A River in Darkness. It's by uh, Masachi Ishikawa. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. It's about a man... Uh, who grew up in Japan, then moved to North Korea and eventually escaped North Korea and his life story. Uh, trigger warnings galore there, please. Uh, uh, if you're sensitive to any kind of violence, uh, 
uh, yeah, not the book for you probably, but yeah, definitely worth a read. I was conflicted because this person is a human being and not without flaws uh, and admits to them, but yeah, that was... For me, it was a bit hard to deal with the fact that not everybody's perfect or, you know. Um, uh, uh, let's see. For me, it was more of a thing that the, the author itself had his own issues with violence. And uh, that made it hard to reconcile with the fact that he was sort of the hero of the story. Um, yeah, but that made it even more interesting and more of a human story, I think, in the end. So, yeah, um, definitely a book that will make you think and and definitely learned a lot about actually what's happening in North Korea and what, ha and what was the history of North Korea as a country. Boy. <laughs> and let's see. The, the, currently, I'm still reading a uh, chart one. Uh, an an audible uh, original, the path between worlds. Oh, dang it! Sorry. The path between worlds, which is. Uh, sort of a short story and it took me a bit of time to get into it but I persevered and it's turning out to be interesting enough to keep going it's if you know a bit about history there's some issues with the story but <laughs> other than that it's an interesting story about uh, what what if there were multiple universes and dimensions and what if you end up in a different one than your own and sort of a detective story about figuring out why that happened and what's going on which is interesting enough entertaining enough for me um, but not def not something I would. This is a free. Uh, you get two free audio origin audible originals every month. This is a free one. I wouldn't would not have bought this. I think. Uh, but free, entertaining enough. Yep. Um, some of the things that I purchased recently that I'm looking forward to reading. I purchased the first book in the Game of Thrones series, which I'm interested to read. I, I remember watching the first few series on television years ago, but I've never watched the full series, so the books will be interesting, I think. I know that they, they are not exactly like the series, so that's fine. Um, I purchased Seven Eves. Seven Eves by Neil Stevenson, which I've heard a lot of people talk about that are into science fiction and think it will be interesting. I purchased two books by Madeline Miller. One is The Song of Achilles and the other is Circe, which are basically retellings of Greek myths that I'm really looking forward to. And that's basically, I've purchased some other things that are like uh, Jane Austen compilations and things like that. But yeah, so lots on my list and yeah, no, enough to read anyway. Um, and that's all I have to share as far as I know. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure when I'm doing my next update. I will try and do that in two weeks because I think I'm going to the crew retreat in the UK halfway through February, so I think the weekend before that I might be able to do an update. So, uh, see you then. I hope you are all doing well. Uh, no, not only I am I'm on the struggle bus, as many people let me know, which is a comfort. <laughs> also worrying, but still, it's, yeah, 
we all have our own issues and we all have our own struggles and I hope you're doing well with those and seeing a way out of those and uh, if not let me know maybe I can help you or at least uh, lend an uh, lend an ear and hear your story um, don't know what else to say so I'm just gonna say bye for now and hope to see you in about two weeks happy stitching